I had a previous tutorial for a false cut that utilized the pass, where I pass the cards and it looks like I give the cards a cut, but the King of Hearts stays on top of the deck the whole time. But that move may be a little difficult. So another thing you can do is this little illusionary false cut that's uh, really deceiving to the layman eyes. So this cut's really easy. You're just peeling down half the deck, squaring up side by side like this, and then you wanna kinda like do an under curl with this hand to have this packet now on top. And it just happens very briefly, but it gives the idea of like, all right, now that packet's going down, and then that's going on top of it, but it's it remains a false cut the entire time. It's definitely something where the faster you do it, the more it creates the illusion. Follow me along perfectly verbatim. Strip out half of the deck. Do this little side perpendicular square up motion. Cards under curl. Goes down. Goes down. Continue to go into your routine where the deck needs to be in the same order or uh, you just need to do a false cut in general. So that's a really easy false cut that you guys can do, especially if you're up and coming into Magic and you haven't quite mastered the pass yet, and um, if you need to keep the deck in the same order. And again, it's just really simple. Boom, boom, done. If you want to learn more powerful Magic to use in a real life situation, as well as teaching you the performance aspect of it, not just the mechanics, be sure to subscribe to How to Disturb Reality. Be inspired to learn, inspired to disturb, and always huh, rise above. Oh! Magically restores itself after being crushed. You squeeze it with your muscles, and then magically it uncrushes itself. And then, yeah, uh, my dog just ran away, and my grandma just ate my cat. So can you pick a card? Okay. Hey, uh, that guy wants you to pick a.